Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about our classroom instruments. For some of you, we're just learning what classroom instruments are. They're the instruments that we use in class. So anytime we have a um, rhythm chart or anything else that we're going to be learning rhythms on, we're going to use our classroom instruments. But it'd be a good idea to introduce you to what instruments we're actually going to play. So there's two different types of classroom instruments that we play. And the first type is non-pitch percussion instruments. The non-pitch percussion instruments uh, do not have a definite pitch or sound that is high or low. It's just non-pitched. Uh, they also, uh, those non-pitched instruments make a sound when you strike it, when you shake it, or when you scrape it. So we have shakers and scrapers and just instruments that we hit to make um, rhythms. The pitch percussion instruments are going to be instruments that make different notes. So you can hear different notes going up or down. So in this lesson, you're going to be um, introduced to all the instruments that we have in class. And you'll have a little video uh, next to each instrument that shows you the instrument, uh, what it sounds like, and how you play it. All right, so enjoy. Okay, our first instrument is the rhythm sticks. So rhythm sticks are made out of wood. Um, so there are two different kind of non-pitch instruments. They are wood and metals, and we'll sh I'll show you metals as we go along. So the rhythm sticks we play just as it looks on the rhythm chart, like an X, and we hit it like so. All right, rhythm sticks. Okay, our first instrument. The guido is a instrument that has a hollow hole and uh, ridges on the side, and they look different. So in our classroom, we have these guidos. They're a little bit smaller for your little small hands, and we use this little scraper stick. So the guido is a scraper, and it sounds like this. So I just scraped it across the ribs and back and forth to make the sound. And that's really all it is. The guido. So our next instrument is going to be the tic-tac block or the wood block. So we don't have tic-tac blocks in our classroom set yet, but we do have wood blocks that look like this. They're similar to the guido, but they look alike, but the wood block does not have ribs on the side. So we play it again with a beater. and we just produce a sound. Again, it has no notes, but you make rhythm with the sound of the wood. Wood block or tic-tac block. The next instrument we're going to look at are called sandpaper blocks. Sandpaper blocks are blocks that have sandpaper, and these are scrapers. All right, sandpaper blocks, scrapers. The guido so is, is a is instrument that the has a hollow hole. Our next non-pitched instrument are going to be the cymbals. The cymbals are made out of metal, They're pretty shiny too. Uh, and we are going to play them as so. The handles are supposed to be loose, so See how it kind of wiggles like that? It's supposed to be loose. And that gives it the sound. It resonates. Resonates. A resonate means to just kind of uh, give a big sound. So if we don't touch the metal and we're only using the handles like this, you can play it either uh, side by side or you can shift it. Just be careful because the edges of the cymbals are still metal and when they're banged a lot, they have little edges so you don't want to cut yourself. Just be careful. So here are the cymbals. They are non-pitched metal instrument. This instrument is considered a non-pitched metal instrument and it is the handbell. Okay, a lot different than the jingle bell. The handbell does make a uh, a note 
and the notes are in the different colors or shapes of the bells. So this is note E, so you can see it might be backwards, but it's note E, and it sounds like this. I love that resonating sound. So when we play the handbell, we're holding the handle like so, and we're just kind of bouncing it like a ball. And you can look and see the ball inside will bounce. And it resonates. We do not hit it against anything or strike it on anything. Uh, this is just a handbell. And you will be playing in a group usually with other handbells that have different notes. And it's a really pretty melodic and harmonic sound. Again, the handbell. Our next instrument are the jingle bells. So these are my jingle bells and I like to hold it like the real one in an orchestra. You would hold the top and you would pop your um, fist on the top. These are jingle bells and they're considered metal instruments. So they're metal non-pitched instruments. Jingle bells. Our this is a hand drum and it's wooden on the rim so the wood makes it a wood instrument but the top of it is skin it's actually animal skin and it makes a neat sound so if you play in the middle you don't really get a good sound you have to beat with your fingers on the rim of the drum to get a good a better sound you hold it like this and you use your fingers on the rim to get a really good sound. If you do it in the middle, you don't get a good resonating sound. So just on the sides on the rim. Hand drum. Our next instrument is the tambourine. So there are two ways to play the tambourine. We're either going to strike it or we're going to shake it. So in our rhythm charts, if we strike it, um, then it does not have an S on it. If we shake it, it will have an S above the notes or the pictures to let you know that it's time to shake. The tambourine is a is considered a metal instrument because it has the metal discs here to make the noises. Tambourine. Our next. Now we have some shakers. These are maracas, and maracas you shake. You can shake them or swirl them, just depending on what the music is asking you to do. So these are shakers. They have beads inside of them to make that shaking sound. Maracas. This next instrument is called the triangle because it looks like a triangle. It's the shape of a triangle. The triangle needs to be held by the triangle holder here on a thread. If you hold the metal, this is the sound you get, which is not what we're looking for. So if you hold it like this and you use the triangle beater that looks like this, then you get a great sound. The triangle is a metal instrument. So it's under the metals. This is a triangle classroom instrument. Now we have Now boys and girls, you can enjoy this video called Music Room Instruments. I love to show it to you guys every year and it's a great way to um, learn about classroom instruments. Abby and Mike were hanging out with their neighborhood friends playing Uno in their grandparents' garage, staying out of the house and out of the rain one afternoon after summer camp. They noticed an old trunk, looked inside, and found percussion instruments. They asked their grandparents if they could keep them, and to their surprise, their grandparents said yes and gave them the instruments. They were so excited they found these instruments, 
but now they were worried they wouldn't be able to find someone to teach them how to play them. Abby and Mike went to their mom to ask her help in finding someone to teach them to play these instruments. Mom said she would have to do some research. She called the local music store and it was much too expensive for lessons. She called the high school and it was closed for the summer. She decided to go ahead and look on the internet and there she found a website for Miss Buck, the local elementary music teacher. Mom contacted Miss Buck and found it was a reasonable price to pay for lessons. Our mom called our friends' moms and they were able to join us for lessons too. At our first meeting with Miss Buck, she helped us to understand that our instruments would need some repair. Polishing, cleaning, and the tambourine had several bent spangles. It was almost like school because our first assignment was to go home and make repairs the way we learned at our first lesson. The next lesson, we learned how to play the instruments. Symbols at a slight angle and gently crash. Finger symbols. Secure one and tap the other one gently. Sleigh bells. Take the wooden handle and put it down in your hand, below the level of your hand, like this. With the other hand, tap. Careful not to hit the wooden handle, or you can just shake it. Bar chime tree. With one finger, gently up and down the chime. Triangle. With the holder, secure the triangle by pinching it. Tap the long arm gently perpendicular. Guido 
into your body. This makes it resonate. And scrape and tap. Again, gently. Brain stick. Slowly and steadily tilt it. Symbols, finger symbols, sleigh bells, cowbell, triangle, bar chime tree, wood block, maracas, claves. Tambourine, Guido, Rain Stick, Hand Drum, from Miss Buck all summer, we played our first percussion rhythm band performance in the Summer Camp Talent Show. 